Have you ever got done mixing a song? It sounds great in your headphones, great in your studio monitors, even sounds great in your car, but the bass just isn't coming through on your iPhone. A lot of people write it off and say it's not that big of a deal, but honestly, a lot of people are gonna listen to your music just with their iPhone speakers. And our job as mix engineers, as mastering engineers, and as music producers is to make sure that our mixes and our music translates on no matter what device they want to listen on. So today I'm going to show you the best technique to get your bass to sound great in your phone speakers. But before we get into the video, Video, if you want to know how to record great sounding radio quality vocals in your house, click the link in the description and download my free guide called the ultimate guide to recording vocals at home. It's just a free PDF guide and there is everything you need to know to get incredible sounding vocal recordings at home. Just follow the step-by-step -step guide. I have everything laid out in there. It is literally the easiest thing ever. And I promise you, if you follow those steps, your vocal recordings are going to sound so, so good. So without further ado, let's jump into the DAW and figure out how we can get our bass to sound good on this. So to understand the problem, we need to understand the science behind the problem. And right here, it basically says cell phone speakers drop off around 800 hertz. Okay, so anything under 800 hertz, you're not going to hear in your phone. It, it's just not going to happen unless you have maybe some higher quality speakers and they might go down to even maybe like 400. It says right here, tablets extend to about 400. But most of your bass is sitting like 200 and below. How are we going to get our bass to sound good anywhere above 800 hertz? Well, let me show you how. So here I have this uh, little EDM style track here. It sounds like this. I don't want to get too close Cause I've been hurt before You're giving me the highs and lows I'm not made for this war and this respace here is what we need to get to cut above 800 hertz. And a respace is already pretty good at making sure it cuts through phone speakers, um, but this needs to go just a little bit farther. So let's take a listen to just the respace by itself. Now we're going to pull up a tool called Span. If you followed my channel for any amount of time, you know that I love this tool. And we are going to take a look and see where the frequency spectrum is for this bass. Look at that, it's hitting 800, maybe 900, which we just saw, it's not good enough. It needs to be able to cut through speakers. So what we're going to use is saturation. And what saturation does, it's really like a, um, a distortion. It adds harmonics on top of the note you already have. And to really demonstrate this properly, I pulled up a sine wave here. A sine wave is the purest tone possible, so it should be just what you ask it to be. Um, and here I have a C1 sine wave just playing like this. Now, if you're listening on your phone, you're probably not going to be able to hear that. Um, but let's pull up span and let's actually take a look at what the frequency spectrum of this note is. It's about right there and there's nothing else here. We're gonna pin this, this plug in here. Um, and then we are going to add our saturation, okay? This is a free tool called Saturation Knob by Softube. It's completely free, just go download it. It really is a really great free plugin. And we are going to turn this on and then we are going to start adding saturation. And watch what happens here, down here on the frequency spectrum. We are adding harmonics when we add distortion. And take a listen. See that? We are adding harmonics to this as we add distortion. That is one of the most powerful tools to really get your low end to sit in the mix because you are not only just having your low end, but now you are able to get it all the way across the frequency spectrum the farther you turn this knob up. And of course, it adds distortion. That's what it is, but it really does sound good in the mix. So now that we understand how saturation works, let's use it in the context of the mix here. So we have our respace. We have span, and I'm just going to pull this down here. I'm going to pin it, and then I'm going to pull up our saturation knob. And the goal is to really get anything above like 1K, 800 hertz to 1K. I really kind of want to add some extra frequencies on there. And I've used 
soft tube um, saturation up for a while. So I know that I can just really click this on keep low and turn the saturation up and it works really well for this re-space. So let's take a listen. I don't wanna get too close Cause I've been hurt before or You're giving me the highs and lows I'm not made for this war So I'm really pushing that. I mean, it was barely peaking at 800. Now I'm getting almost all the way to 3K and I'm really not adding that much distortion. And in the mix, it sounds pretty solid. I don't want to get too close Cause I've been hurt before or You're giving me the highs and lows I'm not made for this war So once again, let's pin this and then let's open up saturation knob again and then let's just bypass it and then turn it on and off. I don't want to get too close So if you're listening on studio monitors or headphones or some nice speakers, you're probably hearing a significant difference all the way across the frequency spectrum. And to be honest, I think it sounds better with the saturation knob. But if you're just listening on your phone, you're probably hearing like no bass. And then as I turn the knob up, the bass starts to come into the mix. And you can use this all the way across the mix. You can use this on real bass. You can use this on synth bass. You can use this on any sort of low end that you really need to kind of cut through the mix. And once again, saturation knob is a free tool and it is a fantastic tool. I recommend everybody downloads this. It's one of my favorite free plugins of all time. If you found this video helpful, wouldn't you go down and just click the little share button and send it to somebody that might not know what this trick is. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And now as always, go create.